Well, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, whatever it might be for you, whether you're li listening to this live or you're watching the replay. We're going to get started here in just a minute. want to allow the um, live to get going, get streaming, make sure internet connection's good, all the things, but we'll literally get started in you know probably 30 seconds or less. But what we're going to talk about today is... Um, I, I know there are a lot of people that are challenged with wanting to be able to play pre-recorded videos that are longer than 10 minutes, bigger than whatever the limit is. I don't even remember what the limit is on StreamYard, um, limited by the upload size. And I know that StreamYard just increased it to maybe 20 minutes. I'm not exactly sure, but I know a lot of people out there have 30 minute videos they want to play, maybe even hour long videos or what I'm going to show you. Imagine a scenario where you want to play a video, 30 minute, 40 minute video, and you're going to be doing or adding color commentary. So you're going to be doing a, a voiceover in live. So I'm going to basically show you that uh, at the end of the video. I'll let you know exactly how I did it. So, but I'm going to walk through some of the transitions and some of the examples. So hang tight and we'll get started here in just a few minutes. All right, so hey, we're going to get started. Uh, hopefully you will find this video helpful. I think the production quality is going to suffer a little bit, but the uh, actual knowledge content I think will be very beneficial. I, I know a lot of people have struggled with how do I play a video or maybe even audio for that matter uh, with reasonably good quality that's either lengthy or maybe they don't like the fact that you have to play it through a Chrome tab. So again, like I mentioned, as I started out here, I'll, I'll help everyone understand how I'm actually accomplishing this towards the end of the video. But I want to demonstrate something along the lines of maybe what you would want to do. Certainly things that I'm going to do and I really kind of had the aha moment literally probably 20 minutes ago with regards to a solution. I hope it's a solution. You'll notice that I have a picture in picture up there. There's a reason for that in a minute, but I, I could turn it off. I'll leave it on. But that's the first thing I'll point out. That's picture in picture. That's a different picture in picture than you can do natively through StreamYard. The one thing I honestly don't like about the, it's not really even picture in picture, but when you share a screen, and basically have the picture in picture you don't have the full screen anymore you have a smaller screen and then a picture of yourself over i think over on the left and i think that's the only way it can be now with the way i've got this set up picture in picture i can have it in the um, lower right lower left upper right upper left it's got something in my eye sorry so this is live that's we got to roll with what comes up but yeah without um belaboring it anymore let me try to jump right in so i'm going to walk through a scenario where you have a video that you want to play straight from your media player so windows the windows player quick time if you're on mac it really doesn't matter uh it could be through a tab point is is you're not dependent on having to run it through a Chrome tab and you're not dependent on having to click on that little box down on the lower left that says um, use audio because you're not going to um, be um, restricted by just the Chrome tab because honestly that's the only way um, with StreamYard that where you can share something and capture the audio because if you share an application or if you share the whole whole screen your, your desktop, if you will, uh, the audio doesn't come with either one of those options. The only way that I know of with inside of StreamYard directly is to have the, um, to do it with the Chrome tab and make sure that little box is turned on. So without further ado, I'm going, and you're going to see me look away a little bit to uh, kind of make some adjustments here, but we're going to go to, we're going to cut to a video and I'm going to start it playing and we're going to talk 
over it for a little bit and then we'll bring it back up, the audio. All right, so we're gonna get started. So you'll notice now we've got a video running and I've got the volume turned down so that I can maybe introduce it. Maybe I'm gonna talk over it. It, it, um, it would just completely depend on what you're gonna do. But now I can start turning the audio up. You got your perspective. And now you can see that it's you know pretty much full volume. So we'll let this run for a minute and um, then we'll come back. I'm super excited to be here. Obviously, you know, it's funny. This is so literal to my world and it's fun, you know, because I, yesterday I was in Boston and I spoke to 600 um, jewelry uh, store owners and it felt really warm to me because they're merchants. They own a single store. One thing to comment store. here and then I'll, and, uh, I'll let go back to the video. This from, video, although I have the 1080p option set on StreamYard, the source of this video is only 1280 by 720, so standard definition or, or whatever that's considered, but it's 1280 by 720, so it's not quite HD, so just keep that in mind as you watch it. And again, the other thing that you need to keep in mind is really the only variable left here is you know your internet speed. So you, you still need to have a, a good upload speed. Just social media. I did direct mail. It was search. It was email marketing. And I took it way back because I knew that a lot of people in the room had no marketing budget. And it made me remember something that is super fun for me, which is literally week one out of college, no marketing budget. I printed a bunch of 20% off by the case of wine things on a picture I made in some sort of version of old school photo, not even Photoshop yet. I, I mean, I was so computer illiterate. I couldn't even like know what I was doing. And I remember it had a crab, literally a crab. Like there was a default picture of a crab in a beach. And I like was like, that's fine. And I put that there and, and then made dotted lines and it said 20% off on a case of wine, non-sale items. I printed a hundred of them, came to the store the next day, parked my car, ran in, opened the store, told one of the kids to keep an eye on the shop and drove to the Short Hills Mall and literally put those flyers on windshields for an hour and a half. What's fun about that for me here now is day one Vayner was super funny, you know, and the reality is I knew nothing about the advertising industry uh, and I had to learn it and I had to build. And so it's fun for me to be challenged to remember what I did, knowing there's a wide range of people here who are a one woman shop to people that are trying to go from seven to eight figures. Very honestly, I want to really move this into a very aggressive Q&A session. So I'm going to turn down the video for a little bit and come back online. And uh, I think you noticed that it had a little fade there, so that's kind of cool as well. Fade back into camera one, and um, my second source, or third source in this particular case, is the video. So, um, yeah, I'm going to let this play a little bit longer, and then we'll we'll really wrap it up. But this, this goes for about 40 minutes, this particular video. I won't make you watch the whole thing as, as valuable as I believe this video is. Um, you can find it on the internet, but let's go back for a moment and then we'll reveal how we're working this. I was coming home almost every weekend putting in work, but I walked in and from that day to this second, I have not raised capital. I've had a payroll to make what blows my mind, this is not true with Boehner because of the scale, but I didn't even have a credit line for Wine Library and our invoices were due on 30 days or the distributor would put you on COD, cash on delivery, which would stop you from being able to buy from any of the distributors. The discipline that I was raised in to you know, 
okay with what you had, right? And so I've scrapped. I'm most proud that for 21 straight years I've had to make payroll and I have. Operations, building an actual business. So a lot of fancy other things have come along the way but the connection point I feel for this room is quite high. I have a lot of thoughts about offense and defense which is playing out in all of your minds. Um, And so I'd like to bring as much value as possible. All right, so that's, I think, all I really needed to show. And um, it should be evident that I'm doing some things that you can't do with StreamYard directly. As amazing as StreamYard is, um, you you can't do some of the things that I showed. So I'm using the ATM Mini. I actually happen to have the A10 Mini Pro, but with the A10 Mini, you, you would be able to do the same thing. This is, um, you know, b- basically the A10 Mini, I believe, is 295 so you basically have a capture card with that. You have four um, imports, not really an advertisement for the A10 Mini, so I'm not going to uh, continue down that path. Um, I'm completely sold on it. I, I know without a shadow of a doubt that it, it adds value to your StreamYard production. Yes, it's $295 or $595 if you want the ATEM Mini Pro, but let me walk you through how this is set up. So I have my microphone that I'm using right now going into the Mic 1 input of the ATEM Mini. I have my video camera going into the HDMI input 1. That's how you're seeing the image of me right now. And then in HDMI port three or camera three, in this particular case, I'm, I'm connecting, I'm going with the HDMI out of my laptop into the HDMI in of the third, um, HDMI in for the A10 mini. And then of course I've got, um, the USB C cable that, that's on the ATEM Mini going into my computer and that makes this all look like a webcam. So basically, camera one, which is what I'm on right now, that um, that shows me. And then if I transition to camera three, you see the video, I've still got the video running. So transition there and I can transition back. And I can completely control literally on the console, if you will, on the hardware device itself, I can control the audio. I could turn the audio back on, Uh, for example. Dealerships. And you can hear this video going again. I'm gonna turn it down quite a bit. And now you can see, as I was already doing, you can talk over it. You could have with mic two, for example, you could actually have a audio source coming in. So maybe you've got your iPhone, um, (laughs) even a CD player playing music in the background, you can control the audio of that. So you have two mic ends, whether that's a microphone or any other source of audio, and then four HDMI imports. So I, I can't even begin to tell you the capabilities I'm imagining with the combination of the ATM, and I know I'm not looking right into the video here with the combination of StreamYard and the A10 Mini and, um, you know, yeah, just, I would suggest that you look in the description. I'm going to leave a link for the A10 Mini. If you do decide to get one or even just check it out, um, it'd be amazing if you would use my link. That's not why I did the video, but if you use my link, it certainly does, uh, make it a little bit more, um, it helps me make more videos like this. Again, this is short and sweet, but I, I will summarize it real quick in case it wasn't clear. The solution that I've got here, I've got my Sony ZV-1 camera that's going into the HDMI 1 port into the A10 Mini. I've got HDMI out of my laptop going into an HDMI in of the A10 Mini, and then basically just switching back and forth between those. And that fade in and fade out that you saw, that's built in to um, to the A10 Mini, the picture in picture I was using, that's built in. I can't even begin to tell you how you can customize 
that the uh, picture in picture you could make in the form of a circle for example you can size it resize it move it reposition it the sky's the limit you can write macros so really in many ways your a10 mini um, with macros becomes like a stream deck so you could uh, and i know that um, Streamyard's going to be supporting the stream deck eventually but you could have, in a sense, a poor man's version of that with the A10 Mini macros. And to top it all off, the Stream Deck will work with the A10 Mini to be able to execute those macros one push button on a little device on your uh, desk or wherever you happen to be working from versus having to do it on a computer screen. Now, this scenario that I'm running, I'm doing it from one single laptop. So a second monitor or two computers would make it even easier, but I, I would argue the transition was um, fairly seamless. I'll switch back to me, for example, and you'll see now I'm on. So I was talking over that whole time, and the video was still playing. But I don't think there's any more to say. It, it, it's possible that this wasn't 100% clear, so let me know in the comments. Um, please like this video please share this video i uh, highly recommend that you subscribe and turn on notification because i'm going to be coming here more and more often to um to help people understand how to to take care of you know some of the uh, issues that they're that they're <laughs> that they're facing and it i don't honestly like waiting to have to get a post approved on the StreamYard community. I think StreamYard community Facebook group is amazing, but um, you know, my hope is that many of you will come on over, turn on notifications so that you'll know when I post the next video. Hopefully you'll you'll begin to um, you know, consider me someone that 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 is able to provide some value, technical value with regards to StreamYard. I certainly don't only do StreamYard uh, content when it comes to my YouTube channel, so, you know, there's that, but I would much prefer just going live or posting a video on YouTube and then know that the StreamYard community is already connected there and can, um, you know, see a video when it comes up. So, we're going to end it, and um, yeah, that's all I have for now. All right, have a great one.